good vibrations. That is what monitoring experts and reliability engineers want to see. But too many times, bad vibrations come up, initiated by impending failures. In the next eight minutes, you will learn how to separate good from bad vibrations to detect impending failures on reciprocating compressors. Reciprocating and centrifugal machinery each require dedicated vibration analysis due to, their, due to their very different working principles. The main difference is that in reciprocating machinery, the vibration signature is marked by regular high vibration peaks initiated by the mechanical impacts coming from the valves. In contrast, rotating machinery in the time-related data view, the vibration signature is flat as a good condition. Knowing that the vibration signature of reciprocating machinery is dominated by high amplitudes, the challenge is to separate the good vibration signals from the bad vibration signals that mostly are initiated by impending failures. One way to do this is with segmented vibration analysis. This is a very unique form um, to display the behavior of vibration. How this works and what it is good for will be explained by my colleague Thomas. Thanks, Joost. Let me explain the segmentation. You will see in this graph an acceleration signal over 360 degrees crank angle. This is a typical cylinder vibration signal. You also see here the mechanical impacts of opening valves. A conventional system will detect failures and events with an average. But how can you make sure that these good events will not uh, violate your alarm limits and you will also recognize smaller events. First of all, use a proper analysis. Use amplitude maximum. Secondly, divide it in segmentation. Take these 360 degrees into 36 segments. Each segment will have 10 degrees crank angle. But for example, if the amplitude will increase in this area, conventional measurement systems will not detect it in a very early stage because the maximum amplitude will not violate the alarm limit. But how can you do it? How can you measure, especially with uh, um, areas with smaller amplitudes? Use a segmentation. In this area, in this segment, segment 24, the energy content will increase and also the segment will increase. And now it will violate your alarm limits because each segment will have their own alarm limits. And also you know exactly what happened during this segment 24. The segment 24 shows the opening of the suction valve crank inside. In this failure, it could be a sticky valve. This will bring you in a better position to protect and prevent bigger damages on your machinery. Thank you for that explanation, Thomas. We have prepared an animation that will show you how the different elements work together. On top, we see a transparent compressor and um, when the animation starts, that goes over two revolutions, we will see how the valve activities are represented in the cylinder vibration signal. Below the vibration signal, we see two alarm limits. We have a first, which is orange, and a second one, which is red. And below that, the segments that uh, Thomas just explained. So in this first revolution, everything is in good condition and we can see how the valve activities um, have impacts on the vibration reading. And here in the second revolution, we see that we have threshold violations in three segments. Two of these are in the second alarm limits and one is on the first alarm limit. 
These threshold violations come from higher amplitudes on the cylinder vibration reading and can be, and mostly are, um, initiated by impending failures. With this segmentation, you are able to detect smaller impacts that are before or after these huge amplitudes that are coming from the signal reading of the valve activities and which are represented as a good condition. Short summary of this technical briefing. First, segmentation works only for reciprocating machinery where we have and where we see reoccurring regular peaks during each revolution. Second, we need a proper data acquisition rate of the vibration signal, for example, 20 kilohertz. Third, choose the right and most powerful analysis for the specific signal you want to anal analyze. For example, absolute max compared to average. Fourth, apply segmentation. Segmentation is the best tool you can have to separate bad vibration readings from good vibration readings and brings you in the, in the position to detect impending failures at a very early stage. We hope you liked what you have heard today on our technical briefing on segmented vibration analysis. Please feel free to leave your comments below and join us next time at Intelligent Machine Monitoring. Require very specific, require very specific, 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 coming from the vibra the main different. Now that we know, challenge is to high resolution vibrate, and we'll bring you into the. Please let our. Uh, yeah, freestyled is um, a reliable, a proven. Yep. Der neuen Klärer Sie fühlt dich mich viel sicherer. Gleich einfach gute Stimmung sorgen.